right here there's a crack in that log and there's a big old snake in there I can barely see him I know it's a snake it's a water snake I don't know if it's a cottonmouth but there's plenty out here or a big brown water snake so I'm gonna look first reach in there and see if I can grab it Well, there's one big one right here. I'm gonna bite. I got a wetsuit on, so I'm not too worried about it. Look at that. Water snake's gonna be very, very angry. Look at that. Beautiful snake. Wow. Easy does it. Let me get him up to the lens. Right there. Wow. Look how fat he is. Where she is. Beautiful brown water snake. Actually the the cottonmouth water moccasins eat them. I was very lucky to find it in this crack right here. So I was able to pick it up and look at it. Most people, every snake they see in the water, near the water, it's a cottonmouth. Right off the bat. But if you do pick one up thinking it's a water snake, you better know your snakes. You pick up a cottonmouth. Uh, see how vicious this guy was? A cottonmouth is a lot more vicious. Now, the one thing is that these are very aquatic. The cottonmouth floats. The brown water snake and the other water snakes dive underwater very quickly. And if you look at the head, you see the round eye and the nostrils? Right there, the cottonmouth is a hole between the nostrils and the eye which makes him a pit viper, a pit viper, just like the rattlesnake. Now, this guy's got a round, perfectly round eye. The cottonmouth has a lid over the eye that gives the eye not so round of a look. It, it, uh, it makes the snake look mean. The brown water snake can flatten its head out, but the cottonmouth has got a bulkier head, very wide. Through here, it's like this wide, it's massive. Well, this snake, see, it can flatten out like that. It'll flatten, it'll flatten its head to make himself look like a water moccasin sometimes given a triangular head but look at right now it's not very triangular it's relaxed but the cottonmouth cannot do that the head is thick right here all the time and he's got a mustache too on him now the coloration yeah it can be very very similar cottonmouth can be uh, black or he can have uh, bands on him you know very similar the skin is very identical to this guy too very similar skin looking so and they live in the same environment so you, you just got to pay attention yeah the water moccasin is more buoyant than a water snake. Its body naturally floats more and it's more of a surface swimmer. While the, the water snake immediately, the only thing that sticks out of the head, out of the water, it's his head. The water snake will only stick his head out like this and dive under real quick. While the water moccasin will tend to swim and float on the surface just like a rattlesnake would or another pit viper. So it can dive under, but that is not as normal. It, it, uh, it's too buoyant actually. It has to force itself underwater. Well, this snake automatically disappears underwater. Okay, now watch how quick this brown water snake disappears in the water. I'll show you how aquatic this animal is. <laughs> Notice the minute he hit the water, he dove under and went into cover, but he dove down deep. Instead of coming up and floating on the surface, if it would have been a cottonmouth, it would have took off on the surface like that.